Je suis Marc Sofranco. Je suis l'auteur de Dieu bénisse l'Amérique. There are many facets of the personality that come out in Max Zajac of my own, but they're all embellished, em uh, twisted, uh, emphasized. So how close to the truth that is, is up for debate, I would say. And that, I think that happens with any autobiographical novel. I'm very skeptical of, of the first person voice. I think many times you might see more of the real author in a, a, a novel that's not necessarily autobiographical. Has writing helped me to survive? Absolutely. And at this stage of my life, I mean, I've been at it for a very long time, so it is somewhat like the act of breathing. I get up every day and it's the first thing that I do. Uh, I'm not sure how I would fill my time without it, really. What was I trying to say about the American experience? I actually wasn't trying to say anything from my perspective. What, what I wanted to capture was a child uh, being exposed to an onrush of experience that he doesn't understand and has difficulty processing. And that, that for me, was what um, attracted me to Celine's more a credit, credit, um, because I think he v perfectly captures that feeling of a child born into a world and subjected to a wild, volatile experience. And I, that's why it became actually the model for, this, my, for my novel originally. Um, of course, it mutated over the years, but that was the that was what I was trying to capture with the book. I have many, many favorite authors, but I will pick three. Uh, Henry Miller is one, Dostoevsky is another, and perha perhaps the person I've read the most titles by in my life is Georges Simenon, the Belgian-French novelist. Um, he is a person, I would say that he's the one writer whose style I tried to imitate without success, I might add. Um, I'm not interested in his maigres at all, but rather the roman d'eur, the hard novels. Um, I think that he's one of the great authors who ever lived, and I think someone who has always been floating around in my mind. And as I said, I, I would love to have been able to imitate him with some degree of accuracy, but probably I failed. My father used to, to accuse me of being uh, a disastrously uh, indulgent daydreamer, and I think I still do that. Uh, I probably waste a lot of time and spend much too much time talking about myself. I would say they're, they're my faults. How would I like to die? Um, well, since I have so much, I feel I have so much work left to do, at about the age of 115 or 120, uh, in the, in the, while I'm asleep, in the midst of a beautiful dream that includes the turquoise sea and a beautiful naked woman. Here are two of my favorite maxims. Um, I, they're funny, but I think there's a great deal of truth in both of them. One is, uh, good writers borrow, great writers steal. I like that one a lot. And I don't believe in an afterlife, 
but I'm taking a change of underwear just in case.